now, weather with Chief Meteorologist Jamie Warner. Well, at the top of the show, I was talking about the holiday headaches that we're going to be dealing with throughout the rest of this holiday week, and it's all compliments of this storm, which has now parked itself on the west coast of the United States. Now, ahead of the storm here locally, we've still got mostly clear skies, but you can see the wet weather not too far away across western Texas, and this storm here in the west will be slinging waves of wet weather our way, which will impact really it looks like the next 48 to 72 hours here in our area. So looking at our pattern overnight tonight, let's go ahead and take you hour by hour and then, and then talk more specifically about what we're going to be finding into this upcoming weekend for tonight. This evening looks dry skies, which are currently mostly clear. Well, the clouds are going to be rolling in by midnight and it looks like uh, closer to sunrise. We should see showers starting to move into southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas. Now, keep in mind, temperatures are going to be cold out ahead of this rain that will be moving in. And it looks like that cold, dry layer of air near the surface will probably cause those rain showers to start off as some sleet or at least it will mix with the uh, rain uh, before changing over to just a cold rain pretty quickly after the onset of uh, the rain that we have in our area. So don't be surprised early tomorrow, maybe uh, closer to sunrise or ahead of sunrise if you don't hear a little bit of sleet before things just turn rainy outside. And boy, is it looking rainy throughout the day on Thanksgiving Day across especially southern Missouri and in northern Arkansas. That's through lunchtime. Afternoon, we're still, I think, going to find patchy drizzle or light showers across much of the area. So it's going to stay damp and cold throughout the day. Temperatures tonight are going to bottom out a little bit below freezing in most areas here uh, north of the state line. But it looks like we will see as the precipitation comes in and the clouds are thickening up, uh, we're going to see those temperatures level out and then start to head a little higher. So I'm not worried about an icy start to our Thanksgiving day. Again, there could be some sleet early on as it moves in, but it should quickly transition over to a cold rain. But temperatures will not get warm tomorrow. In fact, not good news for the turkey trot as we are looking at a cold and wet race. Temperatures around 34 at 8 o'clock here in Springfield. At least winds will be light out of the east at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Here's a look at the highs tomorrow. Never making it out of the 30s in most areas. Looks like about 38 here in Springfield. And that I'm actually expecting toward midnight tomorrow night as temperatures are going to slowly rise throughout the day on Thanksgiving Day into uh, Thanksgiving Day evening. If you are traveling tomorrow, this is what you can expect. It'll be wet here and it'll be wet in most other locations around the Ozarks. Wichita 39 with a cold rain. Tulsa 43 with a cold rain. Kansas City a wintry mix with a high of 35 and in St. Louis cold rain will also try to move in with a high there of 38 degrees. Now beyond Thanksgiving Day. We've still got some issues. Uh, those holiday headaches will continue. This is Friday morning. We've got more showers and drizzle, which we'll be dealing with throughout the day, uh, looking chilly and wet uh, throughout our Friday. Overnight, Friday night into Saturday morning, temperatures will be slowly rising through the 40s. In fact, by Saturday morning, we'll be in the 50s, and that could come with some showers and thunderstorms. Right now, I think instability levels are going to stay low enough so we don't have to worry about severe weather, but it bears watching. It's going to be another potent storm. And uh, as the uh, showers move out by afternoon and we see some sun, it will turn windy with gusts over 30 miles per hour. And I think the winds are going to howl overnight uh, Saturday night with gusts uh, between 40 and 50 miles per hour. That wind will continue into Sunday morning. In terms of rainfall, Looks like a good soaking across the area. Not expecting flooding, but looks like a solid one to two inches over southwest Missouri and in northern Arkansas with slightly lower amounts up toward the St. Louis area. Check out the temperatures again. Not too kind. Uh, it looks warmer on Saturday temporarily, but in the wake of that storm, it will be cold again before temperatures begin to moderate toward the middle of next week. OK, and we have some good news, a little extra spending money for one of our mm, viewers. A lot of extra spending money right there. Uh, looking at $1,300 going to Peggy Smith of Willard, Missouri. We've reset our jackpot to $100. Our winning number, 126830. OK, Jamie, thanks. Well, on the